what's going on guys welcome back to the channel another video today we're going to be doing an open cup we're kind of bringing everything back to the basics we're going to do some basic pours for the next couple videos and for those of you that are newer to acrylic pouring it's kind of giving you kind of a starting point to jump off of and actually get into this colorful world of fluid art so the colors we're using is i have an onyx black as a base coat i have phthalo blue i have a turquoise a cerulean blue I have a gold and I have a titanium white. All these colors were mixed two parts pouring medium, which Artist Loft pouring medium, to one part paint. There is two drops of the OGX coconut milk hair serum in each color besides the base coat. And this is just a square cookie cutter. With that, let's get on with it. All right, so I'm going to put on my base coat first. I like having the base coat. It gives the paint something to slide on and it also stops any silicone from contacting the canvas so we don't have to deal with bald spots on the canvas later on. How's everybody doing this wonderful day? It's a glorious day here in Detroit. It really is. It's warming up. The summer is coming. It's basically here. I'm going to let this white kind of push through this blue just a little. I want it to create a different varying shades of blue, even though we already have quite a few different shades of blue. It's blue and turquoise. It's letting that paint escape from under the lip of the open cup. Right now we're starting with some, some bigger layers because I want bigger bands of color towards the outside edge. That's what I'm going for with this. I want to add a little white because there's already a lot of dark colors. So I want the white to give me that contrast between all the others. Especially since we're using a black base coat. That white is really going to help these colors push their way to the surface and really reveal themselves a lot better. A little bit more white on top of the gold. And we're gonna start again with our Thalo. Again, we're using bigger bands, that's okay. Or the, the layers, the bigger the layers you make, the thicker the bands of color will be. Now, as we get towards the center, I will be making the bands smaller and smaller. I'm just trying to add a little white to lighten it up. You can already see we're starting to get some cells. But you will really start to notice the cells coming forward as soon as the torch hits it, which is going to be amazing. You know what? I'm going to switch up the... You know what? There's a little black. There's no silicone in this black, so this will not aid in cell creation. But I want to see what happens with that. I want to see if we get like one small band of darkness. I think that we will. A little bit of white on top. You can already see some of these colors are coming through. There's some layers already. The square cookie cutter is making this really cool little design. We're going to give it a couple more fills and then we're going to hit it with a torch and that's when the magic actually starts to happen. Because that heat will interact with that silicone and have it just push through the layers of paint. It makes a really cool effect, creates all these gorgeous little cells, lacing. But yeah, I'm finally getting back towards painting regularly. The schedule here at work's been kind of kicking my butt. So I'm very excited. Look at that cell right there, just exploding to life. The silicone just managed to make it to the surface on that one. And over here, 
we're getting more and more cells that are just creating all on their own as the layers start getting a little bit thinner they can push their way right to the surface and then expand showing all those beautiful colors man this is going to be cool maybe another spot of black not a whole lot just enough and on top of that black I'll put gold this time now you're probably noticing that I am making the layers smaller and smaller as we go because like I was saying in the beginning as you progress the the layers in this cup are going to need to be smaller and smaller so that you can keep the the band small as they come towards the center you could do the same thing and have large bands of color but i i really like the look of the the colors kind of diminishing into smaller and smaller circles as they reach the center look at that cell that one's just going crazy right now i don't know what's on what's going on with that one that one just wants to, wants the world to see it. It's like I'm right here, you guys. Oh man, that's gonna be nice looking right there. All those subtle little gradients of color. Goodness gracious, look at that. Let's add a little bit of white. A little bit of phthalo blue on top of that white. And we're gonna move towards the turquoise, then the cerulean blue. Have a nice gradual change from the dark blue to the light blue. Oh man, this is looking really cool already. I love how you can see all the layers all the layers all right let me hit it with a heat gun i'm i'm like a kid at christmas i want to open up my presents so i'm gonna apply just a little heat and then we just watch the cells push their way through they're just like i'm right here guys look at me Oh man, some of these, some of these cells look so cool. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's glorious looking. Love that. Alright, we're going to continue layering. I think I want a big band of light blue. This cerulean blue right here, so I'll put decent amount of it let's kind of break it up a little bit that gold is playing pretty crazily with all the other colors I like it and then you got little pops of that really dark blue against this the cerulean blue which is cool it's creating some really cool little cells pop the gold back in a little bit I want accents of gold I don't want the gold to take over we have a little spot of black again just a tiny tiny little spot there we go just like that and let's see let's get some white in there I love open cups because like they're just you you kind of have a pretty decent idea of what you're going to get. Normally it's going to be pretty much concentric circles around whatever cup you're pouring into and as you layer the colors that's the way they kind of come out. There's a lot of control to this technique. As opposed to like a flip cup 
flip cup you don't have very much control at all. You can layer the cup as you see fit in certain ways. But once you flip the cup over, those colors are going to churn through each other and push and pull and they're going to come out however they come out. But with like an open cup you have a little bit more control over it. And I'm just going to keep on layering. I do typically try to do dark to light a lot in a lot of my pores. I think it offers a lot of good contrast between the cells. And I mean, open cup is, is a very easy way to get pretty awesome cell effects. If you, if you struggle making cells, open cup is pretty good for creating cells. You would need to make sure your paints are at about a, a one second trace or or a little less. You don't want it too too thin because then the colors will just over mix. Oh, got a drip of gold in there but luckily it's just gonna end up looking like a cell just like everything else. Got some really cool stuff going on in those two cells over there and here really interesting little things happening there we go now we're starting to see more of the the cells kind of poking their way to the surface there you can see especially in this area right here all the cells that are coming through bit of white just right in there all right so we're gonna end up saving a little bit of that white now look at the cells going through that area right there man that's glorious looking all right all right we're wrapping up towards towards the last few layers here Gonna, just gonna little subtle hints, effects. Just a little pop of white there in the middle, just to tie everything together and release that. So it be free paint. You can be free now. Now see, if you end up lifting the cup straight up, you're gonna end up with that weird pattern. There's still silicone in these paints, so I kinda like to do a swipe through it. You'll see it typically in all of my open cups. I like to just take the edge of the cup, do a little bit of a swipe. Cause that further adds little layers to the top. And then once you apply the heat to it, cells bloom out of that swipe we did. Now I'm absolutely loving what I'm seeing so far. I'm just gonna need a little bit of help to get this paint to the edge. And I think I have a little extra black, but we might not need it. I definitely don't want the, the paint to roll under. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this across, right? And get some wet paint along the surface here. Cause paint likes to flow where it's already been touched. And it doesn't even have to be a lot, just as long as the surface isn't bone dry, the paint will flow to it. If you don't have somewhere for the paint to flow, it will fight itself to, to get where it's going. And a lot of times that ends up distorting and disturbing the lines that you've spent all this time working towards. And with that, right, 
I think we are already, and we're not gonna spin spin the heck out of it. We'll give it a little bit of love, but it will flow towards the edge. Just light spins, that's really all you ever need. You don't need to be too forceful with it. I got this really cool aqua, aqua look going on, and I, I'm thrilled about it. And you guys noticed, or you remember when we added that tiny spot of white to the center. Well, that tiny spot of white ended up that large after it was stretched. So just something for you maybe to keep in mind when you're layering your colors. I also like to do one last pass with the heat gun after I've stretched everything because we have thinned these layers out. So now there's another opportunity for you to get even more cells to pop up because now the layers are even thinner wow this is gorgeous you guys all right, so let me bring you guys down here. I want you guys to check this thing out because this is phenomenal. I love the colors and the way they played with each other. You can see all these really tiny cells within cells. And those cells are gonna continue to grow for about 10 minutes or so. Yeah, the colors that came out of this thing are just amazing. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.